uh, um, starting with the first demo, um, I, I wanted to show you uh, one of our commands that is hidden from the help menu because it is for very advanced users, as, as uh, you, the users of, of NERSC is one of the cases. Uh, but most of our uh, customers uh, don't need this uh, very detailed, precise uh, information about loops. Uh, but I can show you br briefly, for example, uh, CVC, let's see this example, Kodi, diagnose, summary, mains, let's see, she, ah, she, what's wrong now? She, she, she. And I include uh, th these kinds of reports that uh, you can see the compute patterns detect by Cody. So the for all compute pattern in this case it indicates that there are not th there aren't any um, dependencies uh, among iterations. Uh, it is uh, basically the thing that uh, helped Namo uh, with uh, Worf. Oh, you you don't need actually uh, for Kodi to generate uh, the pragmas uh, for offloading or or multi-threading to know that there are not uh, dependencies among e iterations. You can see it from here from the compute patterns detect even when the rewriting option is not available. At least uh, you can write your pragma manually. Uh, and for example, in in ma many cases, Kodi uh, is uh, able to detect the compute pattern of uh, an inner loop, but is not able to detect it for the outer loop, for the uh, outermost loop. Um, so that's why perhaps uh, you won't be able to generate an offloading pragma for the entire loop nest but at least you will get the information of the internal compute patterns of the inner loops and I can, that it can help you to decide uh, uh, when picking the right pragmas. Um, you also have an um, even more detailed report that is data scoping. Data. For example, for loop uh, 17, offline 17. Uh, no inputs. Okay. The filter goes here. This is a, a new feature of Kodi. So here you can see the complete list of variables of, of the loop, um, the the kind. Uh, it is uh, only is a real on um, read only, read write, compute pattern, on on the report for the uh, read write. Um, arrays. Um, yeah, uh, we have other other uh, reports also of memory footprint, memory accesses. I think it is. Yeah, and you have a uh, Kodi provides a lot of these uh, very advanced uh, detailed data scoping and memory footprint um, analysis. Uh, but it is hidden from the help menu because this is only used by very advanced users. But uh, in NERSC, this is the case. So perhaps you can find these reports useful. Um, is it in the documentation somewhere? Uh, it was, but now it, it was it was hidden. Uh, so no, <laughs> but uh, it is basically Kodi. Uh, Diagnose summary, and and of course the the, the rest uh, of the command, and call the diagnose data scoping. Those two commands, because call the help it won't list the diagnose. Yeah, somebody in the chat is recommending putting that onto the uh, nurse web page for Cody. I'm not gonna remember all these details. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Uh, can you write again the Q and A document, Alvaro? Yeah, sure, no problem. Thank this you. is definitely useful for for you know, drilling down into the details. Yeah. I will start the start of the Q and A document. Those invocations, so you can use them for reference. Yeah, that'd be great. Oh, by the way, is 
what does Cody does Cody um supports Fortran core arrays? Or or, or uh, just doesn't it doesn't mind, but it doesn't do anything with them? From what I remember, uh Fortran core arrays are not supported by Flang. And Cody is built on top of LLVM, so Flang and Clang. And uh, thereby we don't support core arrays. But uh, we recently merged to LLVM 19. Uh, and I'm not sure if now Flank supports Fortran Core Arrays. Mm -hmm. uh, but it is very likely that it won't uh, support Fortran Core Arrays. I have to, to check. OK. Thank you. Uh, so uh, starting with the first demo of today, uh, that it will um, answer many questions from today that people that were trying to use Kodi to analyze projects of multiple source files, because all the all the demos and guides of yesterday uh, uh, were related to analyzing a single source file where we pass the compiler flag directly as an argument to the Kodi invocation. But now we have multiple source files, so we can do that. We have to use a compile command JSON file. So let's start with HiCom. That is a Fortran project of 50 files. Uh, let's see how we how do we compile this project. And the command is, is this one, make arch code type demo. And so uh, in order to use Bear, uh, Bear is, is a tool that um, intercepts compilations commands and generate the compile commands database out automatically. You can generate these compile commands uh, nat natively with CMake and Insha, I think Meson. But uh, of course, uh, Make uh, is, is not able to generate them uh, automatically, but Pair is one of the third party tools available where uh, you can intercept compilations commands and generate the compile commands. Uh, so the usage of Bear is simple, just Bear dash dash and your make command. If you use a custom uh, bell script, you can invoke it from, from here. Uh, so for example, my bell script. That, uh, this was one of the questions of today in the Q&A document. So uh, if you don't have a make command, but you have a script that invokes make internally, you can just run there and, uh, bear, uh, and of course the make note. Uh, no, in this case. So this will intercept all the compilations commands that these that are triggered from this uh, script. But in this case, we will invoke make directly, bird make. Uh, oh yeah, we have to be here. Now uh, bear is uh, intercepting all the make sequence of um, compiler invocations and is generating the, um, the compile commands JSON file. This compile command JSON file, it is uh, standard. Uh, that, that's why it is natively generated by CMake and it's uh, mainly used by static code analyzers and other tools. Uh, let me show you on screen how these compile commands look. Uh, C Fortran Highcom. Oops. Uh got compile. Yeah, uh here it is. Um so it is a JSON array listing source files with all the, um, the list of compiler flags. So static analyzers uh, read this and take the input from here, like uh, it is the case of Cody also. So we start with a screening report. Uh, and uh, now instead of passing the compiler flag, she Fortran, uh, we pass um, the flag, start, um, compile commands, and the actual uh, compile commands. But, um, we recently uh, added um, the feature of um, 
scanning out automatically the compile con uh, commands in, in your current directory as Clang D and other Clang tools uh, do. So for example, if you run code screening, it, allow, it automatically detects the compile commands that is, is located in this uh, directory. However, we always recommend um, to manually set the compile commands uh, just in case um, it takes the wrong file. And, and anyway, when the compile command sees auto detect, you will get a warning uh, with a full path so you can check if it is the correct one because Kodi scans uh, for directories uh, to to the top. So if you don't have a compile commands in in the current folder, but you have it on the parent folder, it will take the parent compile commands. And so here you can check it. And well, uh, 50 files uh, successfully analyzed, no failures. Uh, here, uh, here you can see the, the partial uh, status results for the analysis of each file. And uh, Kodi report 2,400 checkers, um, which are split across the different checkers IID, so the different types of checkers with a uh, number of occurrences for each one. Um, they are ordered by priority. And uh, here you can see which of these checkers have auto fixes. Um, the the rest um, implies in having to manually apply the suggested fix by by Cody. But in this case, uh, let's um, try to apply one of the auto fixes. Um, we will uh, focus on this one. That is uh, disable implicit declaration of variables. A very uh, common mistake on on Fortran projects. Um, so let's run the checks report, check ID, PWR7. <clears throat> so we only get results for, for that one. And then we will add the, the verbose uh, flag. Um, this is the the same workflow uh, all, all the time as we did before uh, the uh, yet yesterday with all of the, the demos. Screening report, uh, checks report for uh, a given uh, directory or, or file, and then checks verbose for the particular checker. So you get a more uh, detailed information, but for a reduced scope. Otherwise you would get, for example, if you run the checks, report per votes for the entire compile commands, you will get all the details for all of the 2,400 checkers. Uh, so that is, of course, overwhelming. So you had to reduce the scope of the analysis while you increase the verbosity level. So here we have all the recommendation seven that um, were found in the entire um, code base, one on machine F90 and the rest of on, on this file. Uh, let's um, add the, the verbose flag, but for one of, of these occurrences, for example, this one. So we will add, we can copy and paste the, um, the filter. So this way, Kodi will report checkers for only this, uh, this uh, source file and uh, only this function located in line 1985. I think I missed the verbose. Yeah, I missed the verbose, dash, dash, ver verbose. Now we get all the details for this particular checker, disable the implicit declaration of variables, and Kodi suggests us to add the, implicit, the missing implicit none in the specification part of the procedure, this one. That uh, we always leave a link to the open catalog of best practices with uh, complex examples. And benchmarks uh, for the case of uh, performance uh, checkers or optimization checkers. But in this case, uh, you won't find um, benchmarks in the open catalog for this checker because it is uh, just for Fortran modernization. And here we can see the auto fix. Uh, we can copy and paste it. And 
Kodi automatically insert the implicit none as well as um, the data types um, for each of, of the parameters. Uh, so git diff, here you can see how Kodi add the implicit none, but also the data types that it could recognize for all the, the parameters of the procedure. Uh, so uh, added added missing implicit none uh, seems uh, an, an, in a first glance uh, seems to be very straightforward, but it is not always as uh, that that easy because you have to define the the data types for all of the arguments. Uh, Kodi can do it out automatically for you. So uh, this is um, the the first demo for today of how to use Kodi to analyze a project of uh, real. Uh, a realistic size with 50 source files and applying a Fortran modernization uh, autofix. Uh, any question will we always welcome? So if, if you have a Fortran code that uses fixed, um, a fixed format, you know, that starts at line seven, is, that, is there a way to change it to free format? Um, we support a fixed format uh, as long as you pass the right um, uh, compiler flags uh, defining uh, the, the line length and the fixed format uh, settings. Uh, so if you use fixed format for your project, so I, I guess you use, um, those flags in your compilation rules. So you only, uh, Kodi will take those exact uh, flags uh, mm -hmm. uh, from the compile comments. And so, yeah, it will, it should support it. Um, I don't know if that answered your question or you were you were asking about uh, if Kodi can help you to rewrite the code and converting right. it to, oh no. Is, uh, we, is uh, that we one don't... of the recommendation? You know, you... Uh, <laughs> from Cody that you should use free format? I'm not sure. I I, I don't remember, uh, but uh, I have to to notice the, the, the team because it is it sounds like a very uh, good idea. <laughs> I don't know, Alvaro, if you are aware of uh, any Cody checker that, that recommends um, to apply uh, free format instead of fixed format. For no, files. and the open catalog doesn't currently contain any check for that, but it is indeed a good recommendation. Yeah, it's just sometimes when you modify a code automatically, it goes beyond the 72 characters, lines, and it causes all sorts of problems. So uh, free form, going to free format is always a good idea. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, th thank you, thank you. We'll take note of, of that okay. included in the catalog. That's indeed an, in an interesting problem that we, I, I personally haven't think of. Great, I, I already took note from that idea. <laughs> 